A lot of times, you know, cities, we take a look and we think that, that uh, we're going to be protected for this reason or that reason. And uh, government would not allow us to drink this water if it was bad uh, or if there was some problem with it. Well, there are a lot of things that come on up and they have to, they have to allow you to drink the water because, uh, for example, years back, there was uh, a concern for uh, arsenic and uh, arsenic levels in the water at one time. The, uh, and I'll just use a number of 50. And uh, there was a lot, uh, an allowable level of 50 parts per million was allowed uh, in arsenic. And that was the standard. Well, as time has gone by, uh, back maybe about 10 or 12 years ago, they tried to raise that level for, uh, for arsenic to a level of, uh, of five. So all of a sudden you're going from 50 to five. That's a huge, no matter what, where you're at, that's a huge numerical jump. And, uh, and the target of gold was zero. So all of a sudden they start looking into this one element and you find out that there's a big problem there. And in trying to reduce that from 50 to five and make that a national standard, what would happen if they had done that is there'd be cities in about every community, in every, in every state, that now could no longer deliver water because they did not fit that standard. They're at seven, they're at eight, they're at 10, they're at 49. So, so things have been, so basically this protection that we have, there's a modification going on with it and there's a, because you have to, they don't want to have ghosts, they don't want to have cities that are, have been abandoned uh, because, because they don't have water to furnish their population. So they softened that back up and raised it to 10. So now there are people that, uh, that are drinking water that the targeted goal is zero because it, it, is, it is so detrimental to your health. And uh, the, the, the government tried to bring it down to five, but in compromising and working with cities and communities, they had to raise it to 10. So there's a multitude of things like that. That's just one example. And I think people can understand that, that all of a sudden, you, you know, water cannot come into my home and I live in a nice, nice area. So there are compromises. And I think that's where you and I have to get a hold of things and understand about water and know what we can do. Because it's your and our responsibility, not necessarily, we have to take hold of that responsibility and not lay that entire responsibility on the government. Uh, they can only do so much. We have to now go forward and uh, learn more about it. So I'm, I'm excited because, as I said, people don't know as much uh, uh, about it as they should, but people are knowing more and more about it every day because of the internet and other forms of communication. So people are quickly becoming uh, more water conscious and uh, making better decisions.